Alright, so, you all know that I'm a teacher, and you know that children are gross, and so, uh, they're lovely, but they're, their hands are covered in all sorts of things, so I wash my hands a lot. A lot. So, the other day, I went to a different school, and they've changed stuff around to become more energy efficient, the lights turn off when you leave the room, and all sorts of stuff, but the sink thing, if you push it, it goes for like 10 seconds. And then you just push it again, I guess, for another 10 seconds. And then you end up doing this, like, rotating hand wash thing. And that's so incredibly awkward. <laughs> to experience life without... It's so hard to wash your hands unless they're completely submerged. Unless you can really kind of... I don't know. I'm weird. But <laughs> going through life with only ever experiencing a sprinkle is kind of... Yeah. To go through, to experience rain and only feel a couple of drops every now and then is inadequate. We are submerged in the grace of God all of the time. We don't have to experience a sprinkle. We're always completely emerged. We are embraced by his grace in every moment. We are never left alone. We are completely covered. There's no sprinkle, there's no waiting. It's all the time. This morning, we celebrate the fact that God is. Not God was, not God might be, but God is in every moment of our lives. No matter what we face, God is. God is great enough to carry us through it. God is all-powerful. God is almighty. God is all-loving. It's not God was, it's not God might be, it is God is. And we experience him when we acknowledge that he is. And this is all about him. Amen. Every moment of our lives is all about celebrating who and what God is. And on this day, no matter what we face, God is more than enough for all things. Today we celebrate not a God who was, not a God who might be, but the God who is. Will you stand as we worship?